สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะน้องๆน,นะคะวันนี้นะคะเราก็มีไลฟ์เฟซบุ๊กด้วยนะคะวันนี้นะคะพี่ๆ CASC นะคะได้เนี่ยเชิญชวนนะคะมหาวิทยาลัยเนาะมาให้ความรู้กับน้องๆน,นะคะในการแน่แนวมหาวิทยาลัยชื่อดังของประเทศจีนนะคะวันนี้ค่ะเราได้รับเกลียดจากอาจารย์นะคะจากมหาวิทยาลัยนี้เลยค่ะซีอานเจียวทงลิเวอร์พูลนะะที่นี่ค่ะเขาตั้งอยู่ที่เมืองซูโจเป็นเมืองแห่งความสวยงามของประเทศจีนเลยนะคะแล้วก็อยู่ในมณฑลเจียงซูนะคะ,ะรายละเอียดของมหาลัยนะคะเบื้องต้นเนี่ยซีอันเจียวทงลิเวอร์พูลเนี่ยค่ะเขาก็มีหลักสูตรดับเบิลดีกีนะคะดับเบิลดีกีเนี่ยค่ะน้องจะได้เรียนในดีกีของซีอันเจียวทงลิเวอร์พูลและร่วมกับมหาลัยลิเวอร์พูลยูนิเวอร์ซิตี้ด้วยนะคะซึ่งจะได้สองปริญญาเลยนะะและในอนาคตค่ะถ้าน้องๆเรียนจบมานะคะก็จะมีโอกาสได้ทำงานกับบริษัทที่ชั้นนำของประเทศจีนอย่างเช่น a เมซ o n c h i n a t e l e c o m u b e r เป็นต้นนะคะซึ่งถือว่าเป็นบริษัทยักษ์ใหญ่มากๆเลยน่าแสดงว่าถ้าน้องๆคนไหนที่ได้ไปเรียนในมหาลัยนี้น่าแสดงว่ามีงานรองรับในอนาคตอย่างแน่นอนเลยค่ะนะะอ่ะและที่สําคัญนะคะมหาลัยนี้นะคะซีอานเจียวทงลิเวอร์พูลเนี่ยเขาก็ยังร่วมมือกับมหาวิทยาลัยชั้นนําของในประเทศไทยก็คือจุฬาเกาะจุดมหาวิทยาลัยจุฬาเกาะมหาวิทยาลัยจุฬาลงกรณ์ของมหาวิทยาลัยที่ไทยที่เป็นอันดับหนึ่งของประเทศไทยนั่นเองค่ะนะคะอ่ะเพื่อเป็นการไม่เสียเวลานะคะเดี๋ยวยังไงเดี๋ยวพี่จะส่งต่อมาให้กับเราชื่อนะคะได้มาให้คําแนะนําเกี่ยวกับมหาวิทยาลัยและก็มาพรีเซนต์ให้น้องๆได้รับฟังกันวันนี้ค่ะ Teacher, you can start now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for the introduction. I understand absolutely nothing. <laughs> so I will start. Uh, first, may I ask a question? Uh, usually, we do this info session in English. So today, do you guys prefer it still in English or maybe in Mandarin Chinese? Please. In English, please. Oh sure, thank you so much. This is in my comfort zone then. <laughs> thank you so much, everybody, for joining today's session. Um, I'm sure our nicely host has already introduced our university in a short briefing session in Thai. Uh, I don't understand, but you guys probably understand it. And uh, I'm the international student recruitment officer. My name is Zoe. I usually cover Southeast Asia. Uh, student recruitment. So I often go there, meet the students. Uh, so right now, um, despite uh, the pandemic kind of like fading away, we don't have any travel restrictions anymore. But meeting you guys online is still lovely, and uh, it's more convenient. You have a free time. I have a free time. We can just meet. So without further ado, let's get started. Today, I'm going to give you a short introduction about uh, our university, about our program, what we could offer as a joint venture university here in mainland China, what you could get from us. And later, I will leave uh, roughly around 10, 15 minutes for you to ask questions. You may ask about our program, how to get yourself enrolled in our university, um, anything related to China Chinese language you can ask away. And let's begin. So first, the name, Xi An Jiao Tong Liverpool University. A lot of things going on with that title. So we probably already figured out we are not just a simple university here in mainland China, like many of those famous Chinese universities. We are a unique type of higher education institution called joint venture. So in our case, the joint venture is between a British university and a Chinese university. Both are quite famous. I'm sure you've heard of us before. University of Liverpool is part of the Russell Group in UK and it has original name of the Red Brick University. And also they have a reputation for being the uh, research led university. And also the city Liverpool is famous on its own. Xi'an Jiao Tong University, our Chinese parent, 
is one of the leading university here in China, actually one of the top 10 universities here in mainland China. The birth of XJTLU happens between uh, just a conversation between these two prestigious institutions. Um, just one day they met and they were, hey, why don't we work together and establish some new kind of higher education institution? Here in Bones, XJTLU. So for our location, we are neither in Xi'an, China, or Liverpool, UK. We are in a third location, Suzhou, Jiangsu. If you've never heard of our city, never heard of Suzhou before, we understand. We are not that famous in international podiums, but we are a traditionally tourist destination. If you search online, uh, nice cities to visit in China, uh, places for you to spend your retirement, uh, we are probably top on the list. Suzhou is a really, really nice and a lovely city with a long run history around 2,500 years. So this old town here is what Suzhou represents uh, in the past. And this industrial park area is what our future lies. And XATLU is located within this new Suzhou, if you might, and also near this Dushu Lake. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you do actually speak a little bit of Mandarin Chinese. Pay attention to this lake near our university. It's called Dushu Lake. Dushu in Mandarin Chinese means study or reading the books. So our city dedicated this entire lakeside to higher education. We are located in an area called Dushu Lake Higher Education Town. So if one day you come to our university or even simply paying attention, paying a visit to us, you will find we are not the only university in this lakeside uh, higher education town. Surrounding us would be other research institutions, high tech companies, uh, all those uh, famous companies do have their headquarters and research facilities near this area. In general, I think our location speaks a lot. You are chosen a prime destination to study mainland China, but also you are picking a really, really nice city to spend your four years, two years, three years of your college life here. But also our city has a strong economy, can provide you with numerous future opportunities. So a little bit more about our city. I'm sure if you search us online, go to YouTube, type in Suzhou, you will find uh, lovely, lovely videos about our city. We are tourist city. And these pictures give you two sides of Suzhou in one, both a very traditional side of Suzhou, the old town historical part, and also a modern side of Suzhou, the industrial park with a lot of skyscrapers, uh, new industries and uh, well-structured uh, um, residential quarters, for example. And you are going to find the really beautiful sceneries uh, for Thai students or parents. Don't get scared with all the snowing happening. Uh, we do snow, but maybe one thing a year. And uh, for those snowing in the picture probably need to wait maybe 10 years to spot that. And Suzhou City do has a really, really strong economy. Currently, among all those large cities in China, we rank the number six. Of, of course, front runner would be mega city you've heard of before, like Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Chongqing. They have way more population than ours. They are way larger than us, but Suzhou is doing great in this uh, economy run. And we are also located in a very, very nice location near Shanghai, uh, a city people must have heard of. Normally for our local citizen here in Suzhou, we could hop on a high speed train, arrive Shanghai in less than half an hour. Uh, normally we go to Shanghai for things like uh, musical theaters, art performance, uh, exhibition, art gallery, some concert, even sports event. Chances are if a 
like theater company or even um, sports team is going to pick a, a sport to give a performance, they're going to choose Shanghai over Suzhou. But we are close enough just not to miss anything. And also Suzhou has been rated for uh, the most livable city year by year. And from the picture you will tell, we have a lot to offer. Not only the prime sport for you to spend your study life here, but also really, really beautiful sceneries for you to spend your time outside the classroom. And with our uh, long run history, you got to experience the rich culture and the historical side of China could offer as well. And Suzhou do have a modern side, like I mentioned. The modern side of Suzhou has been um, established uh, around uh, 25 years ago uh, in collaboration with the Singapore government. This whole area of industrial park, what we call SIP area, is a new economy zone for Suzhou. So from that starting point of establishing the SIP, we bring in a lot of foreign investment, foreign companies to invest, uh, build their own factory here, research facilities, development facilities. And also they come with a lot of foreign talent as well. And right now in Suzhou city, we have more than 40,000 foreigners live here, work here, and also study here, like our international students on campus. So anyone who is thinking about studying China, but okay, I'm not so sure about my Mandarin Chinese skills. Um, I don't speak that many Mandarin Chinese. Well, I adapt to a uh, student life there. You don't need to worry. Suzhou is so modern and very international, um, especially within the college area surrounding our university within the SIP and uh, the Dushu Lake Higher Education Town. Chances are people you bump into on the street are either college students, uh, people work for university or research institute or the nearby high tech companies. They most likely speak really really good English and if you are one of our students you do get the chance to improve your Chinese and uh, I'm sure you will adapt. So all those nice things about our city and our establishment why should you choose XJTLU as your study destination? There are so many nice cities around the world not only Suzhou right? So XJTLU being a joint venture university, we do have some advantages and also some unique features to offer to our applicant and also future students. First of all, we are a UK affiliated joint venture. So naturally we teach in English. So again, if you are a little bit unsure about your Chinese language level to study uh, in Chinese uh, fully, especially, you might consider something else to study in English, but still immerse yourself in a um, Chinese environment. You can study your academic side of uh, your college life in English, but still with your leisure time and outside classroom of improving your Mandarin Chinese skills. And most importantly, if you choose XJTLU as your study destination, Upon graduation, you are going to receive double degree, one coming from the University of Liverpool and one coming from XJTLU. So in this way, you are kind of completing your UK degree here in China. Hence our kind of like title, uh, UK degree in China. We don't actually mind uh, a lot of our students consider us as a more affordable approach to the UK education. Um, everybody knows UK higher education is uh, really, really good, but going to UK is very expensive. UK tuition fee is very expensive. And also their living expenses is also kind of uh, remarkable. And not everybody enjoys UK, let's be honest. So instead of going to UK, spend a lot of 
money on their tuition fee and also living expenses. Um, this kind of like joint venture universities such as XJTLU provide you with an alternative. You can come to mainland China to study in English, but still obtain that UK degree. In the meanwhile, you will be keeping your option open. We also provide what we call two plus two study route to our students. If you come to our university, spend two years here and later, okay, you're still wondering about uh, the Liverpool culture, you still wish to check out uh, what UK could offer. You can choose to progress to what we call a two plus two. So you're going to spend your year three, year four in Liverpool, UK, and also eventually you graduate from the UK side. The University of Liverpool offers our student a 10% discount on their tuition fee. Uh, that is because if you chose to stay here in China, you are paying XJTLU tuition fee, uh, you will see it's much, much cheaper than what UK offers. But if you choose two plus two, you are going to pay the UK campus tuition fee for sure. And we've also estimated uh, the living expenses in UK for your reference, if you're curious. But if you don't really, really consider UK as an option, it might be too expensive, it might be too long, it is two years, you might consider our international mobility program. Depends on what kind of program you get yourself enrolled, which department your program belongs to. There is a lot of different exchange, study abroad, even summer school opportunities for our students. For example, if you are a student who studies economics and finance, you have loads of choices. You can go to UK, go to Liverpool for two years, or you can choose to go to Europe. There's the Prague University of Economics and Business in Czech Republic, which you can spend one semester there and coming back to XJTLU. And maybe you've already noticed we have established our exchange partnership with some of the top universities um, in Thailand, one of them being the Chulalongkorn University, the other one is Mahido University. Every year they send us our, uh, they send some of their students to be exchange student on our campus and uh, vice versa. We also send our student to their campus as well. So this covers Liverpool. What about our another parenting university, Xi'an Jiao Tong University? You might be wondering, okay, what are their role in your own uh, establishment? Since last year, XJTU, Xi'an Jiao Tong University, also offers some kind of like exchange program with us. So again, economics and finance students, if you are enrolled in that program, you have a lot of, to think about. You can go to Xi'an Jiao Tong University for just one year during your year two. So that means you can spend one year here in Suzhou, another year in Xi'an, then coming back to pick out your exchange program, maybe to Czech Republic, maybe to uh, Netherlands, then coming back to Suzhou to finish your degree here. The options are limitless. Since this is a kind of like a pilot program, we only offers to students from these two, uh, these four programs so far, but I'm sure with a success of this um, piloting program, we will extend the exchange partnership to more schools, more department and more programs in the future. So right now on the screen, you are going to see a lot of fancy logos and acronym you are probably not so familiar with. This is our quality assurance for you guys. If you are from a certain um, professional field, maybe the parents are a professional accountant in a large firm, you are going to be familiar with ACCA, uh, CPA accreditations. So these authorities give us a kind of like nice job award on our program and also on our students. 
So by finishing our accounting program, you are going to get exam exemptions. So it's a uh, kind of like faster track towarding the accountant profession certification system. And also this goes to all the other accreditations as well, including rebar uh, for architect in the future. And uh, some of these are contributed by our civil engineering department and uh, engineering department. You are going to wonder, okay, um, you are a joint venture university, you are an international university in China, but I'm still going to study in mainland China. What's the faculty composition going to like? Am I going to be taught by a full Chinese uh, faculties and uh, they are going to speak some English? I don't understand. I'm still like a little bit concerned. You don't need to worry. We do have a really, really international environment here we have the quite the diversity on campus. We currently have more than 1000 academic staff coming from more than 70 different countries and regions. I think you are going to meet someone on campus coming from a country that you've never heard of. Happens to me a couple of times actually. So this is our partnership. And the next section, I'm going to introduce you to our programs. So right now, XJTLU offers 48 different undergraduate programs and numerous opportunities for masters and PhDs. They are uh, distributed into eight schools at the moment. So depends on your own interest and your future career planning. I think you should do some research on what you want to study, what you want to apply in the future. For us, we have science, engineering, business, art and film, um, the humanity and the social science, even one entrepreneur college. I would say unless you have your head set it to be a doctor or a lawyer in the future, I'm sorry, we don't have those fields covered yet, but uh, other than that, you have loads of loads of choices here. And XJTL, you do have a very detailed and informative website. If you are interested in one particular program here, you are welcome to visit our university website to explore uh, the curriculum, the uh, career prospect for each program. And uh, I'm not going to explain every program here. Um, I don't think we have the time, but you're welcome to contact us uh, after the info session or maybe go do some research by yourself. Uh, in a short word, we have a design school. If you are fancy to be an architect in the future, doing some industrial design, uh, sometimes it, this is called product design in some countries. Uh, you want to be an urban planner, design of your whole city or maybe do some hardcore civil engineering architecture engineering design school would be your best friend the business school is the kind of like most popular among international students actually so for anyone who aspire to be a successful businessman businesswoman or if you wish to work in uh, financing sectors uh, banks, insurance, hedge fund, investment banking, VC firm, etc. Business school will never fail you. Actually, XATLU has one of the top business schools in the world. That is because we have all these three accreditation, EQUIS, AACSB, and EMBA. It's not easy to gather all three accreditation at the same time for one business school, and you will see in the world right now, there's only 103 business school who has all three titles at the same time. So right now we can officially call us a triple credit business school, uh, being one of the top 1% business school in the world. So you will not feel sorry if you choose a business program in our university. So 
for students who are interested in computer science, software engineering, and you want to do some uh, hardcore engineering in electronic sciences, telecommunication, or you have the ambition to build a robotic systems, our advanced technology school is your choice. Uh, these programs here are engineering program and uh, they have quite the demand for mathematics and the physics background if you wish to study them. And uh, they do have uh, the most challenging curriculum uh, among all these other uh, programs in our university. So consider it hard and uh, think it is through. You really, really want to choose this. Uh, science school offers uh, fundamental sciences to our undergraduate students. Chemistry, biology, environmental sciences. These programs will allow you to build a solid foundation in this related field and uh, let you to explore uh, future more defined uh, scientific uh, uh, research in master degrees and PhD degrees, uh, because everybody knows scientists cannot end a degree in undergraduate level. We have a mathematics and a physics school, but we don't have physics. Uh, program yet. Uh, guess which one is uh, the most popular among our Chinese students? You'll be surprised. Applied mathematics. This is kind of like a Chinese student stereotype that all Chinese are good at mathematics. Uh, but in fact, it's true. <laughs> Chinese students do love mathematics and they are really, really good at it. So Applied Mathematics program do have the most students on campus. And uh, unfortunately, they do have the lowest uh, international student percentage as well, because they simply have too many uh, Chinese students. And uh, we only have only a few international students interested in this field. You might wonder why people chose this program. Uh, this is because our local students, our Chinese students, are kind of like ambitious. They want to work in financing institutions like banks, insurance, hedge fund, VC firms, etc. But they're not satisfied with only a business degree in economics or economics and finance. They want to do something really hard, hardcore science degree in applied mathematics. So this program still leads to leads you to a career in financing institutions like banks and insurance, but it comes with a much more challenging curriculum, but also a wider future career prospect. So you win some, you lose some, I guess. So for any student who hate mathematics, you don't want to do any mathematics during your college lives. You just absolutely hate it. We have a humanity and a social science school and uh, later the film and the TV school for you to choose. These are all BA programs, zero math involved. You don't need to do anything in the lab, testing, writing, lab reports, no more, no more, none of these. Instead, you are going to explore uh, the world of linguistics, communications, international relation, China study, and also uh, literature and the language, linguistic itself. Um, if you get so yourself enrolled in one of these programs, uh, prepare yourself in less formal exam, but a lot of reading tasks, writing tasks. Um, I heard students are actually preparing uh, essays like, coursework essays, exam essays, every week. So again, more options for future directors, producers, anyone who want to get themselves involved in um, entertainment industry, for example, you want to work for film company, TV, uh, station, broadcasting station, uh, reality show, uh anything else or oh, animation uh even for commercials these programs works so although 
we are film and TV art school. We don't educate uh, performer performing art. So no actor, actress, uh, singer, dancer are involved. We only focused on the production or post production of film and TV industry. And later in the facility section, you are going to see the amazing film and TV school offers world class facilities and environment to raise you to a world podium to be a excellent future uh, film and TV industry person. The Academy of Pharmacy is our newest establishment. We only opened this school and also these programs after the global pandemic. This is kind of our university's own way to contribute our research uh, ability to try to cure this current global pandemic as well as a future pandemic. Let's hope not, but also um, maybe find a cure for cancer, developing new drugs, vaccines for other diseases. So naturally, these programs comes a requirement on students being uh, proactive, good at mathematics, biology, chemistry, scientific related subject. So these are a list of master degrees we have under each school. Again, if you're interested in one particular program, go to the web page and find the exact uh, program page. You will get more detailed information on our website. So last but not least, we have a entrepreneur college, also called Tai Tang Campus. This is a second location of XJTLU. So we are in SIP main campus. Here, that's the map. And also we have another campus called Tai Tang Campus. The reason why we develop this secondary location called Entrepreneur College is because we're running out of land. We don't have any more place to build more uh, colleges or more schools or accommodate more students. We chose another location. And also, it is because Taitang's unique location and also the entire philosophy behind this entrepreneur college, we are exploring a new education philosophy under higher education scene. And uh, here, just uh, for your reference, this is our Taitang campus, entrepreneur college. This is our current studio campus, and this is Shanghai. Taizong being a county-level city under the jurisdiction of Suzhou, it does have its own unique uh, appeal or unique features. Um, it's much closer to Shanghai, and it is a really nice port for import and export industry. It has a lot of foreign investment, a lot of German companies, a lot of Taiwan companies, in high-tech manufacturing industry. So you will see, we establish our school and our programs according to the Taitung unique location and its unique features. Take a look at these programs. Big data, data science, intelligent supply chain, intelligent manufacturing, intelligent robotic engineering, internet of things, microelectronic science and engineering art, technology, and entertainment. You will find these programs are pretty new, like so new, you probably never heard of them before you, and you never thought about, okay, I'm going to get um, enrolled in those programs. They're indeed new, not only new to our university, to XJTLU, but also new to the entire higher education. But XJTLU being a young and uh, quite ambitious university. We're not afraid of uh, uh, creating something new and uh, help you to explore a, a new industry or new frontier of this field. You might also notice we have industrial partner to each program and each school, right? I never mentioned industrial partner or listed any this company name in our previous introduced programs. That is the unique feature about Taitang campus as well. So. 
under Titan Campus Entrepreneur College, if you study one of those seven programs, you are going to get compulsory internships. So that is why we call it in Entrepreneur College and uh, let you explore uh, the possibility of a industrial-led higher education. Um, we often experience this kind of uh, um, scenario when you go to college or even high school, any kind of like school, um, you were going to be given a textbook. Uh, you're going to learn from the textbook. And after a couple of years, after you graduated, you will find things you learned from the textbook is kind of like out, out of dated and expired already. The company expects you to grasp what's in right now or what is currently in use like right away but students especially fresh graduate fail to do so because they are so used to what they've been told in the school and from the textbook so that's why we are exploring a new kind of like method or philosophy in higher education we are going to invite our industrial partner into the campus they're going to help us design our curriculum our courses uh, most importantly, they provide us with real life projects because they know what they need, right? In their industry, in their company, in their assembly line, in their um, factory, they know what they need. They have a real problem to solve and they provide those problems, those questions to our professors, to our students. In doing so, we are helping the industry resolve their problems, but also we learned the most update knowledge and skills while you are studying with us. And also you're going to spend some of your um, college time into the contemporary entrepreneurialism study. Um, you might wonder, okay, I'm going to spend some time in some entrepreneurialism uh, models, uh, spend one quarter of my time there. Um, why do I need that? The reason is because those programs just so new. Like I said, you probably never heard of it. And uh, back in your country, there might not be an existing industry for you to go back to even after four years, after you graduated uh, from us, uh, you could still not find a job. That would be a shame, right? So we want to provide you with more options by providing you with um, education in both the professional side and also the entrepreneurialism uh, side, we wish you to establish your own business in related to your own program in the industry. If there is not a company or an industry for you to jo join, why don't you start your own? And uh, the Entrepreneur College or Titan Campus or all those programs I've mentioned above are also credited by Liverpool University. You are still going to earn a Liverpool degree if you study here. And also we've just confirmed with Liverpool University, they will allow our Titan student to go to their university to do a one year exchange because before this year, so all the students who studied in Titan right now or before, do not have this option. They are essentially committing their entire four years in Titan campus. But right now we are opening these options to our Titan students as well. You are not going to miss anything. One year in Liverpool and you are heading back to Sudo to Titan to complete your degree with us and hopefully, hopefully with a bright future. And here are just some pictures of our Titan campus. Um, the campus has been building during the pandemic. So there is certain delay. We opened our Titan campus and completed our, our relocation last summer. So all the students, all the teachers, all the facilities has been relocated to Titan just last summer. But from next cohort, you are going straight to the Titan campus if you get yourself enrolled uh, from year two and above. We are two separated campus running on their own. So you don't need 
to commute between two campuses. It does have some certain distance. Uh, only teachers and some admin staff need to travel. Uh, yeah, it has everything. Um, we've visited the campus already. It is amazing. <laughs> These photos are taken during summer before the students actually moved in. So it's kind of like empty from the picture's view. Uh, this is our canteen area, the cafe. Mm, this is your uh, residential area, the dormitory, and also some commercial areas around that. Uh, this is your student accommodation in Python campus, those tall buildings. Okay. So we are mentioning facilities and the campus in Taishan campus. Let's get back to our main campus here in SIP. The SIP campus uh, has only been established for 15, 16 years or so. Uh, we're gradually building our campus, like one building at a time. So some buildings are older, but not as old as 15 years. Some are newer, um, established probably like a couple of years ago. But overall, we have a really, really nice campus with a really modern building. And you can imagine all kinds of uh, modernized equipment or facilities we are using here. Depends on your own program, you are going to, it's being uh, suited into one certain um, academic building, but you are free to explore the entire campus and using facilities in other departments as well. Um, business school, that is a Harvard style, medium sized lecture hall, uh, the most popular teaching style on campus. And if you are one of our design students or science engineering students, there are so many lab spaces, studio spaces for you as well. This is our film and TV school, sound recording studio for voiceover and uh, color rendering room uh, equipped uh, with um, Apple computer. And yes, we do have that cinema within the building for our, um, for our teachers and students to showcase their production. And this is the standard TV um, studio as well as a green screen studio. Up top is the uh, motion capture equipment. Being a student at XJTLU uh, requires you actually to be a um, hardworking student. If you want to succeed in an academic side, or if you go to Taishan campus, you want to be a successful in those uh, industrial led teaching method. But also on campus, we want you to enjoy your campus life, enjoy being a college student. Lots of activities will be thrown on campus now without the pandemic on the way. This is our outdoor and indoor sports uh, stadium. A lot of things you can try out. Something more common like basketball, volleyball, uh, ping pong, uh, badminton, or something quite uh, different or unique. Rock climbing, golf, archery, uh, fencing, and we do have a gym. Taishan campus do have its own uh, gym facilities as well. It's not included here. It's in the previous section. And loads of campus activities. We have more than 170 different student clubs and societies. I'm sure you can find your uh, own interest. And if you don't, you're welcome to establish your own student club here. So we're only going to briefly um, browse through the accommodation options. Um, because XJTLU located in um, what we call higher education town. So the accommodation sites are not within or without, uh, um, in or out our campus. We have an open campus and we share all those uh, public facilities like accommodation buildings with all the other universities nearby. These are options for our university students. A standard uh, international apartment, a hotel apartment if you prefer to live alone, and also a MBA apartment. 
which is the most closest to our North Campus. Something a little more expensive and also a little bit larger. Okay, the very last section is going to be application, admission, scholarships, tuition fee, uh, etc. So normally um, in Thailand, we recruit two types of students. One is coming from your standard national curriculum, um, high school students. You'd need a minimum average B kind of like score to get into our university. You need an M6 school living certificate with an average around like grade three with every subject. If you are applying for science and engineering program, we do suggest you to have a good grade in science subject, science related subject like mathematics, physics, uh, biology, chemistry, etc. But other than that, an average B is good enough for our university and you're going to enter our year one. University here in China is four years. So you're going to spend four years with us. If you like, you can move to Liverpool after two years. If don't, if you are fancy of Chinese culture, you want to learn more Chinese language, you're welcome to stay. And for some students coming from international high school, you are studying either Cambridge curriculum, IBDP courses with certain uh, grades, you can skip year one and enter our year two. The requirements are here, but every student may have their own unique kind of like situation. You might have uh, what we call mixed curriculum. You study here one year, you study there another year, uh, not very straightforward national or international curriculum, but we will see. We will, our admission officer will review you case by case. And of course, being an English taught institution, we require you to have a certain English exam uh, result. Uh, right now, for year one with a national curriculum with an M6 leaving certificate, you will need an IELTS 5.0. For year two, you will need an IELTS 6.5. But most Thai students I met coming to our university do actually have a really, really high IELTS score. So you have nothing to worry about. Uh, master degrees, if anyone is interested, do you have a different kind of like um, entry requirements? It depends on the program, depend on um, which particular uh, subgroup you want to get yourself enrolled. It's all very complicated. Again, go to the website. It has all the answers. Applying our university is also very, very easy. Um, we do online application. Everything is just electronical um, application form away from our university offer. Go to our website, find the program page, click apply now, it will lead you to an online form. Uh, you will only need to translate your um, transcript if it's not in English. Sorry, we can't read um, non-English or non-Chinese transcripts, so you have to be translated. Other than that, uh, graduation certificate, personal statement, you have to write it in English. Reference letter is optional. Um, Scholarship letter is also optional, especially for our undergraduate students. Basically, that's it. And also IELTS test results. That's it. So let's see. This is the tuition fit bit about our university. We, as a joint venture university here in China, we still follow Chinese rules, kind of. We charge a flat fee. What uh, what a flat fee means is we charge the same tuition fee to every program. It doesn't matter if you study architecture, filmmaking, or even mathematics. We are also only going to charge you with one price. But if you go to UK uh, or later move forward with a master degree, you will find tuition most likely to be linked to a certain program. If you study um, business, you study mathematics, it's generally in the cheaper side, but if you do engineering, uh, design, they're going to be more expensive. For candidate, international candidate who apply us before May 1st, we offer you a 8,000 early bird discount on your tuition fee. 
and it covers all four years. So it's not only 8,000, it's actually 8,000 uh, multiplied with four. In regarding to the scholarship, still, Chinese way of giving out a scholarship is also by grades. If you are an excellent candidate with a um, great background, I mean, average B is good enough to enter our university. But if you want a decent amount of entrance scholarship, you do have to give us a um, really compelling transcript. Most students come into our university with like straight A kind of uh, grades will get around 40%, 50% scholarships. And uh, we are not the one of the public university here in China. So the best we can do is still 50. So if you are a great student who wants to get into our university, um, the best offer we could do is a 50% scholarship plus what we offered before as early bird discount. So 8,000, roughly 10%. Uh, plus the 50 percent. That's it. And uh, in the later years, after you get enrolled, after one year of study, if you maintain your GPA, being a really, really good student um, in our university, you are going to get what we call a continued entrance scholarship. We are going to give you the opportunity to renew your entrance scholarship in the consecutive years. And also, um, many students come to our university uh, following the first step of their big brother or big sister. So we offer sibling discount as well. After you get yourself enrolled into our university, you do have other opportunities to get extra scholarship. Um, sometimes governments just uh, have some extra money to give to international students and we will make announcement accordingly to our university students. You just need to pay attention, kind of. And uh, last but not least, a bit of information about our university is we will normally give away a free summer Chinese language school to our incoming degree student. So if you apply now and get an offer, you decided to join us this September and you paid a deposit, we will give you a free summer school to enjoy between July, August. Essentially, you come to China two months in advance and enjoy your uh, summer camp with all the other incoming degree students coming from all those different countries and you get to know them a little bit beforehand and you get familiarized with the campus, get familiarized with the Suzhou city. You will also have the time and opportunity to explore uh, uh, rest of the China before your official college life starts this September. And this is a great, great opportunity for you to meet all the students across the globe. Because, of course, we give this um, summer school free to all the degree students, but also there are some fee paying students coming from European countries, coming from our um, partner universities. Those kids normally join us only during summer. So they are also college kids, but they want to study Chinese language. They want to practice their Chinese language. So they travel to China, particularly for this summer school. So it's also a great opportunity to uh, meet some friends and uh, being a really global citizen here at XJTLU. Okay, I think that's it. This is everything I want to share with you today about uh, XJTLU, about Xi'an Jiao Tong Liverpool University, our program, uh, what we could offer as a higher education institution in China. If you do have further questions, you can email us, um, call us, but I'm often traveling, so probably not on the desk all the, all the time. But you're also welcome to visit our website, go to our YouTube channel to uh, find out more about us. And also you may uh, find the help of the CISC. If you need inquiry in Thai, I couldn't help. You might want to consult them and uh, they will convert your questions or inquiries to me as well. Okay, thank you so much for today. If you have any questions, you're welcome to type them in the chat box. 
uh, if you need translation help, I think uh, a staff member from CSC could help. Or you can just simply open your mic and we could talk. Do you guys have any questions for Soyi teacher? Oh, I saw a question. It's related to our uh, accreditation. Uh, if you study accounting, do I still need to take CPA exam? So we are accredited by CPA. You still need to take CPA exam, but not all of them. Um, I don't remember the exact uh, number of how many uh, papers we could exam, but I do remember ACCA. So if you are more familiar with ACCA, ACCA certification is 13 papers, so 13 exams. If you study here at XJTLU, you will have nine exemptions. So a significant amount. And I'm sure CPA do have similar um, conditions, but I just don't remember the exact numbers. Maybe the website do you have that? Yeah. Uh, something in Thai, but I think I understand GED, right? GED diploma. Yes. yes. We can, can the applicant read GED diploma? Yeah. Can apply for bachelor yeah. degree? Yes. Okay. Thank uh, for GED, I if my memory serves correctly, the uh, the score requirement would be 650 above in total, 165 plus every subject. Okay, thank you so much. But I, I got a question. Can the applicants provide proof of an English proficiency certificate from that school instead of ISL? Mm, is that a question? Sorry. Yes. Oh, uh, you are asking about uh, the exemption of IELTS. Yes. Mm, actually, we only exempt IELTS um, at the postgraduate level. So if you study in a English taught undergraduate program. Uh, for example, if you get yourself enrolled in Mahito International College or Chulalongkorn International Program, um, we will waive the IELTS if you apply master. But for undergraduate study, normally you do need IELTS unless you are doing A level or IBDP. Um, if you do A level, we can use the English component within the A level exam, and also IBDP, IB diploma do also have an um, English um test within their own curriculum we can use that so yeah if you're not sure you can just apply first and uh, let our admission officer decide whether you will be needing an ielts or not thank you so much Um, GED, yeah, I think I think so. For GED, you don't have to take an IELTS. So while you're still figuring about your question, I'm posting some YouTube video link uh, in the chat box. You can click them and save them, uh, perhaps maybe watch them um, afterwards or maybe doing dinner or something. Uh, these are uh, YouTube videos about our university, uh, short introduction, uh, some campus videos, and also uh, what kind of life would be uh, if you study here. Uh, 
Oh, I saw a question. Is there a scholarship for short-term Chinese language? Mm, actually, you will not get a scholarship for Chinese language. Um, I think I think we have information here, but sorry, it's just one sentence here. Uh, take a look at this page of PPT. We have Chinese language courses for non-degree, um, one semester non-degree Chinese. So it starts with 9,500 for one semester. So no discount, no scholarship for first semester. But if you study with us for one semester, half a year, and uh, you feel good about it and you want to continue, then from the second semester and onwards, you are going to receive a 40% discount, 40. So 40% discount, uh, that means it'll be 6,000 something for second semester and uh, forward. And later, um, for example, if you are one of our degree students, you get yourself enrolled in our either undergraduate or master degree. Um, after a couple of years back in Thai or in some other countries, you feel like you need to come back to our campus to get some uh, additional Chinese language to sharpen your language skills. We will give you alumni discount. And um, alumni discount is also 40%, I think. Yeah, you do have alumni discount uh, for that. Uh, let's see another question oh, about the Titan program. Can we enter with entrepreneur without Chinese background? Uh, mm, sure, I think so. It doesn't matter. The entire campus, the official language here is English. So the partner we picked out are kind of like targeted to this goal. Uh, there are going to be some Chinese company for sure. Um, I mean, these companies probably have a all Chinese kind of like staff members. But if you are one of our international students, I'm sure we can find a position that suits you. And I hope uh, while you study here, you can improve your Chinese language. So you'll be fitted to the position and also uh, to that company. Uh, do you have 100% scholarship? So this question is yes and no, I would say. I'm not sure what, what kind of program you want to apply. If you are asking about undergraduate level, uh, let's move this, sorry. So undergraduate, um, this part, we don't have a 100% scholarship. We are, again, not public universities. Uh, the best we can do is 50. But if you are applying our masters or PhDs, we do have. So for master degrees, most of our taught master, so MSc, MA, uh, M engineering, M architecture, M design, uh, I think so, that's it. Uh, they are taught programs. So those only comes with maximum 50% scholarship. But if you do MRES, so master in research leading toward a PhD degree in the future, you will get the opportunity to get 100% scholarship. And uh, PhD program in our university is very, very generous. Um, if you think our um, undergraduate or postgraduate program is rather expensive, um, you can consider our master de uh, PhD degrees after you completed your uh, other higher education in some other countries where you can uh, be a more affordable. Our PhD degrees comes with full scholarship plus monthly step it. So it's very generous. Uh, let's see, refer to the Thai Tongue 2 plus 2. Finish. Sorry. Finish last year. Um, sorry, you can't. So for the Thai Tongue 2 plus 1 plus 1, uh, that means you cannot finish your last year at Liverpool. University, you have to come back to XJTLU Taitan campus because that's where your internship will be. And uh, you do need to finish your um, compulsory internship with the corporation like we signed with. So, and also another reason for this is Liverpool side don't have the similar opportunities. We just simply couldn't find any companies have those like high tech background, uh, Internet of Things. Uh, intelligence supply chain, this kind of thing, we couldn't find in Liverpool UK side. 
So it's kind of like some people refer to as a sandwich program, kind of like you only go there for one year, like a Chula Longong exchange program for our students. So yeah, it can't, you have to come back. Otherwise, it will be a two plus two, <laughs> just like the SIP campus program, right? I think there's no more question now. Mm -hmm. so. Sure, great. I'm going to post more videos. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so just in case you are wondering uh, what life in Suzhou are going to be like, um, what uh, life living expenses are we going to expect in Suzhou? Is it going to be really, really expensive or not? Uh, international students um, here on campus, are they adapting well? Etc. Yeah. If you need it, just click and watch them later. Okay. Okay. Maybe Thank you so much. Thank you so much for today.